Okay, Arak is queen. But as close as it was against the last Arrakis Queen, I think we may have had the wrong strategy. Get the Witchers back. Smuggler. Yeah, I'm not gonna play the Witchers. I plan to use that next turn. Just some weak throwaways, whatever I can find. Maybe it's gonna be like this guy plus the Can't archer. At least that's the plan now. What do you guys think is the ideal strategy against the Arrakis Queen? How should we play it? Like what kind of rounds? Should we like try to push round one? Like uh, just like mess around round one, don't do too much, give up early. That's the current strategy. And she's probably gonna do something round two. This is a bit of a tricky situation because if I had Ragnarok, then it becomes more of a choice, what I do now. But we don't have Ragnarok and I don't think we can really push it. If I had Ragnarok and going first, I think I would have tried uh, a push. But uh, currently, I'm not really feeling it. I just pass. Try not to give them a long round, they lose a lot of value. That means winning round one, which is looking tough. But, yeah, but I'm also extremely reliant on long rounds. Okay, we gotta play the Witchers. Seems like we kinda have the same strategy. Well... Not exactly the same, but we both care about a long round one. He does care about last say too. I would like to lock that, but I don't think it's gonna matter. He has so many of those. I usually save archers and use crushing trap quite aggressively to keep uh, units off their board. Whoa! Really? Okay, we're gonna lock that. Wait! Won't he resurrect this next turn? Guys, we need information right now. Do we lock that? Or do we... Or do we just ignore it? If we ignore it, we can't ignore it. It's just gonna get too strong. I think we gotta lock it. No choice. He's committed. Yeah, it's possible to resurrect this. And I think this guy might have it. You doubt it? Because right now, it, just killing that is so damn important. Or like uh, locking that up. Humans are not to be trusted. So we don't have Ragnarok. We might need to use the traps to try to win this.
need to do six points. I can't do it with a value generator. I can do it with witchers. Time for enough. Isn't he like kind of playing against his own strategy? Elf and onion soup. I guess I could have tried to play around that. God. I need to do five points. Let's say I play a trap. They also killed the Arrakis drone. So we are at 32 plus 1 value generation now. We lost the card. Goes for 2 0. I don't think he knows what he's doing, but I could be wrong. Vain conditions. Come to me. Please. That's good. Start with the smug though. I have to move again because... Eh. I can't, can't really give up the crushing trap. We might even use the crushing trap aggressively on the ones. Yeah. That's what the other guy had as well. Let us sing the song of steel. And we might just replay the crushing trap. Technically, only need pitfall trap ones. Or During his turn, fortunately, it does make Ragnarok less ideal. He made a very questionable choice with that bleed. I think they needed to commit more to get the crushing traps out of us or not bleed at all. I don't know, I think he just meshed up. So that probably should die. Whenever a unit is destroyed during Best your turn, damage you only on by one. Oh my god, really? It wasn't too bad. Oh, that's gonna die. Let's kill the Arrakis drone. Well, actually, I need to be damn careful here. I need to line it up perfectly. So it's gotta be Pitfall Trap. Yeah, Pitfall Trap. 
No, no, we gotta play Alvin Scout, then Pitbull Trap. Fuck me. I think uh, this could be bad. Maybe There'll I'm just gonna play Crushing Trap last. When I'm done with you. Wow, really? Everything's blowing up. Well, that's, well, that's gonna die on his turn. This is a big part of my value. Only death here for Dwan. What to do with Bruver? So the spiders who die in the back are gonna come into the front. More nice to see from talk. Then we can just crushing trap as a last move. I am who I need to be. Actually, I may have messed up, yeah. I yeah, did well. Because, uh, I didn't calculate with the summoning circle. Well, this is bad. Who are you? Yeah. Rip in peace. Stopping this big worm is a big advantage. GG. This deck is pretty strong. Hmm. Well played. So, currently the plan is the tempo pass. We're gonna play Hawker Smuggler with Askel. This is actually a pretty good starting hand. Now let's keep it. Special prize, just for you, love. Yeah, I don't like this guy. Who's with me? This guy needs to be a 5. He's always used as a 4 for 6. Can yeah, even if you just use him in a round, many times he just enables the, the bloodthirst and you still get like an average 4. Or, it's a bit swingy, obviously. Actually, I need to uh, play the Alvin Swordmaster now. May your sword and arm be one. The plan here is just to play these two, and after that, Escol and we pass. This will be quick and painful. 
Hoping that uh, bit of tempo that we get from this is gonna be enough. So he has to commit. God. Extra cards. Nope. So he has to play six points worth of units. Seven. Likely. But whatever I play is just gonna be awkward. I have a really good hand for round three, but the really bad respect. hand for short. Remove that. Just the ship. Should I lock that ship? No, I think he's gonna have uh, more important stuff hey, later. Will he play this as a throwaway? Or is he committing to the round? So if I play this, it's just gonna uh, die. For the ship plus the AL. One thing for sure, these higher rank guys, sometimes they, they surprise you. Not like these guys are like super high rank. Still. But we do have the traps. I think the lock is gonna be pretty important. Not sure how much value the Swordmaster is gonna get. Probably not much. But I don't have a big faith in the Archer either. So at least I'm in a pretty good spot with traps. And it would be nice to actually draw into a trap. Hopefully it's the horn, but uh, that's not what the one we got. I have uh, free movement. Actually, we don't see how much uh, Bruver has. Mahakam horn. I need to throw the crushing trap. Let's start with the store master. Swords I smile at. Weapons oh boy. scorn. <sighs> Ariel's been chosen. God speak to him. Don't Just make this uh, a six for six. No problem. Really? Um Maybe Alvin Scout? You should not have come here. I can try to dodge it. Should I just dodge it? Move or I'll got you. I'm dodging it. I'm not dodging it. It's gonna be a rainy day, guys. Only death I suspect he even has a way to extend this rain. What I need to do. Wait, 
Nah, we can kill that. But it's gonna be bad because the album scout dies, unless I somehow... Oh fuck! Mistakes were made. Ha! I'll take that! But I think we need to commit. I hate that, but I, I think we need to commit. I thought that this guy is on the melee row, and then we can just do Brewer plus uh, Archer. But that's not a thing. Move, or I'll gut you. I think I still have to commit. Lock that. Double crushing trap that's going to be played. I think I need to do the Mahakam Horde. Yeah. So the Amoscat is just gonna die. This is bad. So we put down a Pit Trap. Then it's your of its Gambit. Actually has artifact destroy. That's great. You gotta play his guy now. Uh that's that's a mistake. Who knows? What do I know? We can hit me for five plus eight. What's that? Actually, he shouldn't have played that. I don't know why he played that. He literally just played that to give me four points. But it didn't matter. Pretty good. Hey, Jim. It seems like you're trapped playing this deck. Uh... I really like this deck, but we did see two decks today that might be fun, and I want to play it. GG.